Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you the unboxing of AMD's new RX 6700 XT. We'll also give you some benchmark results. You may know that it's really hard to get a video card as demand for it has already skyrocketed since January this year. I also bought the newly released MSI company RX 6700 XT and filmed the unboxing. The RX 6700 XT faces a troubling launch when it goes on sale on March 18th. AMD reference cards will sell for $479, with third-party cards likely to sell for $500 to $800, depending on clock speeds and cooling configurations, but how long that will last remains unclear. You can't get it except eBay or other purchasing channels at this time. And at a high price. There are strong rumors that stock of the 6700 XT will be extremely limited at launch, with some major market countries receiving just several hundred of them on launch day. That will only exacerbate problems with price gouging and scalping, though AMD has pledged to release its reference cards in batches to try to help gamers get their hands on the card at a reasonable price. I'm curious about the performance as it was announced before it was released. We'll let you know the result of the Betsy mark shortly. The Gaming X product of MSI that I bought this time was equipped with a new heat sink and made a cooling system with a technology called Torx Fan 4.0. As a result of using it, the cooling performance was much better than the previous version. There are four output ports, three display ports supporting 1.4 versions, and an HDMI 2.1 port supporting up to 8K 60Hz. The power connector port is made of two 12V 8-pin connectors. And from this 6000 series, PCIe 4.0 will help you expect faster performance. Now, let's test the performance by installing it on a PC. As you can see in the comparison table, the 6700 XT has a GPU of Navi 22 and the interface supports PCI Express 4.0. The memory is equipped with a 12GB GDDR6, which is somewhat smaller than the higher version, and the memory bus is 192 bits. What's surprising is the boost clock speed, which you can see is a little bit higher than the top version. Comparing the game tests with Nvidia's 3060 and 3070 shows a better number of frames in some games. Shall we take a look at the score of PC Mark 10? Video connection score was 10,573 points and high scores in photo editing and rendering. Now let's take a look at the 3D Mark's graphics score. The total score was 11,640 and the graphics score was 12,101. It's a high score. Now, this is user benchmark.
Wow, it's huge game performance. If you can buy it for $479, it would be the best cost effectiveness product. This time, let's look at hash rate for Bitcoin mining. It's a rather disappointing result. It performs slower than the previous version of the 5700 XT. The average is 42 to 44 mega hash rate. The cooling performance improves, so the temperature remains low when mining. That's all for today's video. See you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.